This video is about what are they thinking after you leave. I'll explain the typical things that go through the mind of a toxic person when you decide to finally walk away and leave them behind. Stay tuned to find out more. Welcome to the SCG Show. Please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and turn your life around with my sponsor, BetterHelp. The link is in the description below. So you finally decided enough was enough. You couldn't take the aggro, the stress, the drama, the pain, the boredom, the frustration, and all that other wonderful stuff anymore. And you packed your bags and you've walked out of the door. Now what? Well, assuming you've done the work and healing on yourself, you should be on the road to recovery and improvement. You should be looking brightly ahead to a brand new tomorrow full of promise, excitement, and better days. But what about that ex you've walked away from, never to return to? Look, I often encourage people, especially if they're dealing with a toxic person, to walk away, go no contact, block and delete their details if you can. There is not a good reason, assuming you have ties like a mortgage and children and money to sort out, to stay in touch with an ex of any sort. Especially if that ex has a detrimental effect on your health, your mental health and overall well-being. You have only got one life. Why would you want to waste it with the wrong person? Why would you want to damage your life any further with someone wrong for you? I have a zero tolerance policy for toxic people, especially romantically. If they don't respect me, my boundaries, they're abusive, aggressive, toxic, negative. They are cut out of my life to be left behind. So pat yourself on the back for having the courage and the strength to be able to walk away from such a nasty, horrible person. Congratulate yourself for being able to be confident enough to say, do you know what? I deserve better than this shit and following through. I've lost count the number of times I've seen people pursue relationships, marriages and so much more with the wrong person. Only to eventually get either left behind or driven to the point where they cannot deal with them any longer. And the usual response goes like this. Jesus, I can't believe I stayed that long with someone that wrong for me or toxic. Now, what are these individuals thinking now that you've left them behind for your own better, healthier new lifestyle? Fortunately, I have the answers. Here is what they're thinking after you leave them for good. If you're enjoying this video, please smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and support the SCG show by becoming an official member. The link is down below. The first thing they're thinking when you finally have the courage of walking away and staying away from such individuals is this. How dare you leave me? If you're dealing with any type of toxic person, especially a narcissist, you're dealing basically with an entitled spoiled brat. I once met a man who continuously cheated on his wife and the poor woman even knew about it. He bragged about it towards the end of the relationship and used it as a form of heightening her insecurity. But when she finally told him where to go and divorced him, there he was bemused by the decision she took to leave. Well, how dare she leave me? Who does she think she is? He said. Um, you cheated on her and treated her like crap. What do you expect? Well, the answer to that is simple. These people live in a delusional fancy world where they have no idea that their actions actually have consequences. They honestly believe they can get away with murder and nothing will happen to them. It can stem from childhood with weak, lazy, stupid parents who never disciplined them at all. And then into adulthood, surrounding themselves with people who just agree with them and have to tread on eggshells around them. I always describe them as adult sport brats who have the audacity to assume everyone else is the problem and not them. Your ex or whoever you've left behind is most likely a delusional, spoilt, entitled person. Don't get it twisted. They are the reason you left, not the other way around. If you were happy, satisfied, fulfilled, you wouldn't have left or be watching this video. Have you ever heard the story about the amazing couple who were infatuated with each other and so happy that they broke up for no reason? No. But also remember, you should have no idea what they're saying or thinking at all. They should be blocked and removed. Even if you hear it through the grapevine, don't be fixated. You should be focused on your brighter, better future without them. Please do not allow their manipulative and twisted ways to th try and worm you back in and hoover you back, because it's all part of their plan. They feel they did nothing wrong, but they did, and you know 
in your heart of hearts, they're the problem. Firstly, I'd just like to take a moment to tell you about my official channel sponsor, BetterHelp. I have personally used BetterHelp and found it to be very effective for turning my life around for the better. BetterHelp is an online portal that provides direct to consumer access to behavioral health services. The online counseling and therapy services are provided through web-based interaction as well as phone and text communication. BetterHelp gives you four live sessions a month, unlimited messaging in between sessions, as well as access to the group therapy webinars that get updated each and every week. Thanks to the SCG Show's partnership, you can sign up for BetterHelp and have the online counseling service in the description below and receive 10% off. So by using this link, you'll be supporting the SCG Show community. So turn your life around with BetterHelp. The link is in the description below. The next thing they're thinking after you left them is the state of shock. Oh my God, what's happening? Why are they gone? What have I done? Oh no, it's all an act, all a load of bullshit. Let me explain why. I once dated a narcissist a few years back, which was nothing short of a nightmare. She would play all the tricks to make me think I was the issue, I was the problem. This narcissist I was dating I broke up with twice, yet foolishly, the first time I split, I never went no contact. Therefore, I was privy to all the twisted thoughts and manipulating tactics. So after the whole, how dare you break up with me rants and so on, the shock hit her like a ton of bricks. Remember, you're dealing with a disillusioned person who lives in a fantasy world created entirely by the ego. In their minds, you're almost like a slave to them and they are sat on a throne barking orders to you and everyone around them. But then the reality sinks in, especially with no contact, when they no longer have your attention and so on. For example, no more texts, calls, no more sleeping in the same bed, no more social media, photos. You are physically and metaphorically speaking cutting off the supply that they need to survive. It's gone, under a cloud almost like, and now they're back to being with the worst person in the world, themselves alone. And like an addict to substance abuse, they cannot live without the supply, be it positive or negative, and they spiral out of control. Expect them to be so melodramatic and over the top of their emotions, because their act is actually worthy of winning an Oscar. Woe is me, I can't believe it, my life, my world is crashing down, no! Give me a break, man. These idiots know exactly how good a person you are, and they're just trying to hoover you back to make you suffer more with them. Again, you should not know they're saying this, but I guarantee you that they are. Let them throw those tantrums. Let them have that Oscar winning performance. You're better than that anyway, and better off without them. Hey, if you're enjoying the SCG show, please feel free to make a donation via PayPal. The link is in the description below. The final thing they're thinking is one you must be very careful with if you ever read or hear it that is oh i get it now i know where i went wrong i'm gonna change one of the biggest decisions i ever made was leaving that ex-narcissist and the worst was initially taking her back it was like two steps forward a thousand steps back i get it now i was the problem i know where i went wrong i know the issues were my fault i've changed don't worry we could be happier than ever before. They genuinely believe this. I know this may come as a shock to you, but they genuinely do. They fool everyone, including themselves, that they're now almost like saints, monks, nuns, where they can do no wrong. The world is finally correct. It is a fake smile, a fake persona, and most importantly, a very fake promise. Once you officially decide to get back with them, the mask slips again. They consciously are playing the nice guy, promising you the earth and even themselves. I'll read the Bible more. I'll work out. I'll stop smoking, stop drinking, is what they tell themselves and you if you foolishly listen. But deep down, down in the roots, what they truly mean is this. I just want you back. And when you're back, I'm back to my true self. A leopard like a toxic person never changes its spots. 
Quit fooling yourself to believe that they will because they are being delusional and you're falling for it. These people never understood others because of their lack of empathy. They don't care about your suffering, your mental health. All they care about is themselves and what they can get from a situation and people like you. You are a toy, an accessory, not a human being. Frankly, you deserve better. Hence, why you initially decided to walk away from them entirely and why you must stay away from them entirely too. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to comment, like and subscribe.